Hi, I'm Sean Moore and I am a BSc Sports Science student at the University of Stellenbosch. I'm currently doing my coaching space and that is what brings me here today, is to share a little bit of experience of how core values and team culture can be implemented in a practical setting. So I'm coaching at Rhenish, or I coach at Rhenish this year, and we one of the things that were very important for us was our team culture and our core values. And it was one of the easiest things to expose and start developing, but it is so important for you to do it with your team. So core values and culture is not something that is created or implemented by a coach. It's something that needs to come from the players because they're the ones that need to live by it. So in the netball setting, we had a training camp and I decided that instead of making them do exercise for eight hours, I was going to take my time in our picnic session um, and first do a little bit of a sports psychology kind of ask some deep questions, get them thinking about why they're here and what they want to do. Um, and so I took them up into Kutzenberg Mountain where it was just our team and no of the other teams were there as well. And we sat on the side of the hill and we looked at each other and we focused on each other and there were no other distractions other than the nature that was there, which was beautiful. So this is what I did. I sat them all down, I gave them all a piece of paper and a pen, and then I spoke to them about values. Now, I just wanted to get a grasp on like what they felt and how they associated with different values and what was important to them as individual players before we came together as a team. So I told them that I'm going to just talk through some values and I want you to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10 on how important or how much you appreciate, associate, um, engage with each value. So the values are very basic, surface level, accountability, um, respect, honesty, transparency, um, responsibility, those kinds of things. And the girls all did their thing and they, they rated themselves. <laughs> um, and then once we were finished with a list, I think, of 15 values, um, then I asked if anyone wanted to share their top two most important values. Then after a few girls kind of looked at each other and were like, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe. Then one of our girls were like, okay, I'll share my top two. And I was like, great, okay, cool. So you can share your top two and if you want, you can give an explanation or just expand a little bit on why they were top two. So then we started talking as a team and starting to get to know each other and what's important to each player. Then I also opened the floor to see who or what are the like bottom two, if anyone wants to share what their bottom two were and why. So then we had a few girls that wanted to share and they did and it was really eye-opening because we got to see where people stood and what they stand for and see what their core values are as individuals and what they have in common to see what our team values will be. So that was really awesome and very practical, very easy to do with your team. Um, the important thing that I emphasize is that it's not compulsory to share. So I asked them afterwards to, to give me their cards and that kind of stuff, um, just so I can see a general vibe within the team. Um, but they didn't have to put their names on it. That was, they can just leave that off unless they wanted to. Um, but it needed, it needed to be a safe space for them to be able to speak what they wanted to or not be scared of, oh, coach thinks that family is not a very important value for me. So, uh, so that was one thing that was really cool. Then from that, asking the questions of what do you want from this year and why are you here? We got to discover what our team culture was going to be. So a lot of the girls wanted to be there because their friends were there, because they love netball, because it's good exercise. And that that feeling that you get when you're playing and everything's going right and you're executing the things right and you're doing the processes right. So I was like, okay, great. So these are some ideas that I'm thinking of, of what we can implement in our team culture and how you guys behave and conduct yourselves as a team. So then we chatted a little bit about that and some of the ideas or some of the things were 
you're never in it alone. So my motivation is a very big thing, a constant thing. So if you guys are working out, if you're training, someone's got to be talking no matter how hard the session is. You got to keep going. You got to keep pushing each other. Um, and then another thing was um, communication between the players, between the players and me and finding that they're not going to be able to go through this being a team sport by themselves. They want to have friends there, they want to have fun there, so just do it together and then have fun was another one. So that was our little experience and then before Corona while we were still um, training that kind of stuff, we would always be pushing each other, motivating each other and pushing each other to be better people and also to make sure that everyone's included. We had a very inclusive team culture this year, so that was really awesome. But that's all from my side and I will see you guys in the next video.